Okay, my name is Adam Dugan. I'm an attorney for Gulfstream Cafe, and I'm here to speak on item number 11 that's on the agenda, which is an amendment to the Marlene Quake Team plan. This is about construction of a new building, and I've got a, a photograph here of the old building that was in Marlene Quake. The copy was emailed to the council. This is a small one and a half story building that was in existence prior to being demolished by the applicant, Palmetto Industrial Development. This building is nothing like what is being proposed. Look at that building. The proposal is for a 47 foot tall, over 9,000 square foot building. And I ask the county council to each of you go down to the site, look at the site, look at the proposed building, look at the area, and have a real honest evaluation of whether this building will be beneficial to the area, to the neighbors that surround it, to the parking and the traffic that is in the Marlin Quay area. Do that analysis and you will recognize that there is not enough parking to accommodate this proposed building. And the result of that is Gulfstream will have no choice but to file litigation. And we don't want to do that. We don't want any more court battles, but that is the only option we have to protect our easement. And that's a lawsuit against the county, the county council, and the individual council members who approved this application. And this is not a threat. This is Gulfstream having no choice but to protect itself. The next speaker is Vince Van Hunt. Hello, thank you for giving us the opportunity to speak tonight. Uh, I represent uh, Center Arctic Restaurant Group. I'm the CEO of the group. Um, uh, I, I first of all, I'd ask the group, how many folks in this room are against the Marley Quay Development? If I could get a raise of hands, I'd really love to see your hands. Thank you very much. As you can see, there's a large amount of folks that are uh, really not excited about this development, nor am I. Uh, Gulfstream has been in the community for more than 30 years. We employ hundreds of people since 1979. We just want to be able to operate a restaurant, but we have to, we have, to have parking to do that. Dr. Lahoon has come in out of town and wants to radically change the area. Uh, his proposed building will overburden the parking lot uh, that is shared with Gulfstream. There's going to be a new building uh, at the Marlin Quay Marina, then parking needs to be addressed. There's not enough parking now. That's a fact. Uh, where is the plan to accommodate a 360-person occupancy load? I haven't seen that plan at all. Please respect our 30-year-old easement. It's the only way we can coexist with the shared parking. Chris Causey. Hello. I'm here to talk about parking at Gulf Street Cafe. I live in Surfside Beach, South Carolina. Frequent the restaurant a lot. Um, there are people parked down the side of the road currently. There's families getting out, walking down the street. It's not safe. Currently, it needs to be addressed and looked at and changed. What we have proposed here is going to only overburden the area more. Thank you very much. Jeff Kirk. Thank you all for taking the time to us. My name is Jeff Kirk. I'm an operating partner at Gulfstream Cafe. I've been there for about nine years. I spent 50, 60 hours a week for nine years. I think it's safe to assume I have the most time in that parking lot uh, watching the car go in and out. It's been a problem for nine years. Uh, just recently, this summer, with no restaurant there, we still have a full parking lot. Uh, we still have issues. We still have the county, the Georgetown County Sheriff Department, telling our staff, our guests, that they can't park on the side of the road. The area is completely overburdened. What's proposed is even more overburdened. Dan Stacy. This project has been through your staff twice as a minor change. Your uh, zoning board of appeals twice, circuit court, upheld by circuit court, brought back as a major change, been through planning commission, approved by this group, and, and then we had a, there was a court order that changed our building footprint. So we redesigned the building the third time. Nothing else has changed about the building other than the design of where it sits on the ground. You've already approved the size, you've already approved the restaurant seats, you've already approved this about six times at various levels. Um, of the opposition that's here and all the hand raising, they all rode here on a bus paid for them by an employer, and they're, they're being paid to be here, they're being paid the same way. We've had multiple meetings on this, and other than about five or six condominium owners, no member of the public has ever expressed opposition to this project. Quite the contrary, look at the record, there were in excess of 75 members of the public that spoke in favor of this project. Ashley Duvall. Um, I've also been with the company for nine years. 
and most of us have. We spend just slightly less time than our managers there. I'm actually here on my day off. I work six days this week, and I came on a bus because we know how much parking can be an issue. I was not paid to be here. I chose to be here because I too would like somewhere to park. I've also been concerned for my guests. Uh, we have several locals in the area that come in for the week.